Hello everybody and a good day to you all. The death on Nancy Drew, season one, episode number two, The Secret of the Old M Morgue. This episode directed by um Larry um T Ting. Larry Ting. Tim Tim Tim. Mm. In this episode here, we got Nancy Pil trying to figure out who is the person who killed um uh Tiffany Hudson. Who killed, killed this who killed this girl? Who killed this woman? And also at the same time, she's trying to find out who um who is responsible for Lucy for the um Lucy's death. He's responsible for that too, because she again she's seeing ghosts of this of this girl like like pretty much like trying to lead her in the direction where she wanted to go into. Now I don't know if they're going to the supernatural route. I don't know if Nancy's going crazy. I don't, I don't know where they're going with this with this whole ghost thing. Or she didn't do that, but still they're doing it. So uh, is the ghost actually there? Are we doing supernatural stuff or is not? Pick one. Because other than that, it's not supernatural at all. Cause no one else is seeing the ghost other than the people talking about, talking about the story. But the only person that's seen the ghost is Nancy. So. Does she have superpowers? Is she supernatural? Is she supernatural? Does she see dead people? Like, what, where, where are we going at with, with that whole thing? But she, but, but at the same time, because of her investigation on, on the, on the, on the murder of um. Of Tiffany Hudson. Of, of Tiffany Hudson, she, she saw, she's trying to get visited by this ghost of, of Lucy, and it leads her to like maybe her leads her to her father, where she finds she finds a dress upstairs in her attic with blood on it. And and she tells her dad about it, and he, he makes up a, a, a lie, which is obvious a lie, not even a good one too. I just oh I, I wanted to scare I wanted to scare my your, your mom with this little prank, and I, I, the blood is just die. So wait a minute, you, you got a dress, put fake blood on it to scare mom. That's the story you going with, All right? Okay. And then, and then you see him burn the dress at the end, which means that the dress with the blood was real. So if he, let's say let's say her father was responsible for the death of um of Lucy, okay? How dumb are you to keep the evidence inside your house? Why would you keep it inside your? house? That's that's stupid. I don't I don't understand now. Whatever. But we, we 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 still don't exactly know who killed um um either either women. You know, we still don't know who killed either women yet. We still we still people on the case. And, and and at the same time, while she, while she's trying to figure out that stuff out, she also worried about her brother. I mean, her brother, her boyfriend Nick, who may be responsible for Lucy's death. Or not? No, not Lucy's death. I mean, um um Tiffany Tiffany Hudson's death. Because she was the person who pretty much sent him to jail in the first place for for, for murder. So he, for, no, I think for the murder on Lucy, maybe, but either who. But the thing is, though, even though she's she's not sure if he's not a killer or not, she's still sleeping with him and making out with him too. So it is, that's what, that's stupid. <laughs> like if you think your boyfriend is a killer and a murderer. Why are you still sleeping with this guy and making out with him? But I don't think that's the case, though. I don't think he's actually a killer. I don't think he's a killer. Because it'd be too, it'd be too obvious. And the thing is, though, he's the only black guy on the show. So they, they can't have him be the murderer, too. That's just, that's just too messed up. Yeah, he's pretty much on Because there's only two black people on the show. The other black person dates the father. And the, other, and the black guy dates her. It's in that they have a type. Both of them have a type. They seem like they have a type. Something. They like, they like the chocolate. It must be because the, the father is dating the, the black, the, the black um, detective, and she's dating the black guy. But see the thing, so everybody's lying on the, everybody's, everybody's lying. The person that's telling the truth, the only way is, like, is, is Nancy. In the way. Well, she's lying about the stuff that she found out about. But I mean, you got because you got um, Georgia who's, who's sleeping with the, um, the, the husband. Who's sleeping, who's sleeping with um, Ryan, who was the husband of the woman who just died, and she was having, he had an affair with her while she was in high school. So that's that's disgusting on all another level. And then you have um, uh, the um the, the, the you got Bess, who's um who's 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 homeless, but she's still acting like she's rich. She's lying about that, 
and also she might be possibly gay or not. I don't I don't know for sure. You have um Ace who likes to play dumb, but he actually is a he actually smarter than what people think he is for reasons. So a lot of people not, not everybody are truly being themselves, really. And so Nancy's trying to figure out exactly what's going on and who actually is are the are the bad guys. But this the show is interesting. It is interesting. I, I mean, I don't hate it. I think this episode is better than the first one. But at the same time, the characters do like weird stuff. Like, I think like like Nancy supposed to be so smart, and then she like she's dating a boy. She got a boyfriend who she thinks is a murderer. But instead of like trying to, she's trying to figure out what's going on. But at the same time, she's still making out with him and kissing him and stuff. You got you got a father who's lying about possibly killing a girl and he's trying to cover it up. I, I had no idea, but still, like like. like because the thing is, though, the, the mystery thing is interesting. Like, I, I, I want to figure out who the killer is. I want to figure out who the killer is, who the bad guy is. But then the supernatural stuff that goes along with it, like, that, that's confusing. Because I, I, like, I don't know if it's going to a ghost thing or, is, is, or this is just in her head. She's crazy. Like, what does that mean? Like, why she's seeing this ghost? I mean, is it, is it actually happening or this is all in her head? I, I don't know. But... I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about the show just yet. I like I, I don't I don't hate it. I'm not completely in love with it either. I'm trying to figure out where I stand with this show. I like this. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. The actor the acting is not bad. I don't think the acting is bad. The characters are very interesting. I just I don't, I don't know. Something, something about the show is like, like I'm not fully on board just yet. I can't put my finger on exactly what it is just yet. It's it's something like like. Ah, I don't know. Yeah. It feels like Riverdale. It feels a little bit like that. It sort of got that tone to it. Is it maybe because, maybe it's probably, 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 probably what it is. It's like Riverdale just repeated again, only there was a different setting. Yeah. That's probably what it is. I don't, I don't know. But overall, the, show was all, the show episode was alright. It was fine. It was fine. There was nothing like, completely wrong with it. Nothing really great about it either. But just, it's just okay. It's just okay. Yeah. So, leave comments down below. Let me know what you think of this, um, this, this show, Nancy Drew. Are you are you on board? Do you love it? Do you hate it? How, how you feel about it? Leave comments down below. So, uh, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. So, keep my channel below, like, hit the thumbs up, shit, boop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it, like I always say, in my dream in my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people. Thank you.